Welcome back to another smashing edition of Descent, the Enemy Within. We are moving ahead to level 3. We uh, had pretty easy goings in level 2, minus a minor death hiccup. But regardless, we are moving ahead. Very impressive. You eliminated the problem with minimal difficulty and with efficient speed. Yes, I can now definitely recommend you for the mission. <laughs> what? I feel, would feel so honored if I didn't feel so patronized. Glad you liked my work. So what's next? What do you mean? Like this whole, these past two levels have just been a test? You mean I hadn't really been hired for the job yet? <sighs> As you may have heard, PTMC has just landed a big contract with a very lucrative business partner. The details are a bit, shall we say, classified at the moment. Regardless, the deal has brought great profits to PTMC. Most of it probably going to your pockets. So where do I fit in? It's like a double briefing. Did we not go over this, like, before the first level? <laughs> We're testing a new line of robots meant specifically for this company, ultimately for the good of all, of course. But we've been test running their AI logarithms of various minds as a precursor to their final function after production. And their initial directive was to find and eliminate any robots infected with the virus. This worked for a time. But then they stopped doing their directive altogether and simply helped the robots that were infected. It's amazing! All the money in the world at their fingertips and they still can't get basic robot AI right. All hail the PTMC! Did your new robot line get infected with the virus too? Valid question. No, they did not. It simply was that they just stopped responding to their mission directive and started helping the infected robots on their own. Something none of our programmers had foreseen or can explain. Oh, the joy. Got it, so am I supposed to help clean up this mess? <laughs> My code is working and I have no idea why. My code is not working and I have no idea why. <laughs> Coding. Oh, the conundrum. Yes, that is one way of putting it. We are now sending you the coordinates to a small orbital where the new robot line presence is low but still needs to be cleaned up. Get in there, do the job, and get out. Roger that. Deactivate secure line. Wait, is this going to be the same time for each briefing? Okay, yeah, I'm just not going to even bother uh, just voicing this line. It's just going to be the same time. Same thing every time. We knew that they had a contract deal with a large company and that it involved robots of a new pro product line. It, he really told us nothing new. Dark Horse, you were listening in? Yeah, I kind of knew about this from you last level. Of course, we have your ship tapped before it went out that PTMC hangar. It helps us to keep tabs on PTMC through you. Anyway, we have one robot report for you, and I do believe it is part of the new robot line they've been producing. Which should be interesting. Dark Horse out. I wonder what type of robot it could be. So this is the new stuff, huh? This is top-the-line, military-grade robot. Acolyte. Infected robot destroyer. Twin concussion missile launchers. Drops concussion missiles. Threat moderate. Seems to be designed for demolition purposes of other robots. Its sleek design makes it appear to be fast, quick, and able to dodge incoming fire. However, our telemetry indicates that its motor functions are still lacking, which leads us to believe that PTMC is still fine-tuning this robot, so take advantage of its inability to move much and avoid these missiles it will fire. Ah, so this is like the medium hulk of the group. I gotcha. Alright, so I'll probably just deal with it in appropriate fashion. Not too bad at all. Looks kind of funky. Looks like a, one of them destroyers in Descent 3. I forgot what those enemies were called, but they look kind of humanoid in appearance. Hmm. Kind of crowded. Whoa, the keys are really close by. Okay, Pinhead? Is that is that really the name of the level? Oh my... Oh, yeah, this is crowded. <laughs> Splash damage all over the place. Oh, hello. Already laser level 2. I am happy. There's the blue key. Uh, I think I see a pattern in the shapes here. We'll see if it holds up. Oh. Okay, he's all the way over there. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. I can avoid all of the attacks. Ooh, another guy. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, okay, it's just you. <laughs> These anglers are really good on if you don't catch them right when you first see them, or before they see you, you could be in a world of hurt. Okay, that is the exit door. Apparently that m must not open until the reactor is destroyed. I don't want to use the flash missiles yet, because I just have so few of them. Two shots and they're out. But I might make an exception for you. Oh, wow. Okay, I was like, I don't even see if there's any anglers. Oh, hello! 
Okay, I'm really not liking the cramped space of this level. Not at all. Okay, thank goodness there's no enemies down here. I'd be kind of worried. Okay, yep. I see exactly why this is called Pinhead. <laughs> it's one big sphere. If I didn't know any better, it's like the first level was open, second level was kind of like a mix, this one's cramped. It seems like more than not, these level designs are kind of cramped. Oh my goodness. Those mantids unnerve me. Not too bad. This level isn't really that hard. And that looks like uh, possibly the reactor. Yep, there's the reactor right up there. As evidenced by that red outlined square. You're just all eager to get at me, aren't you? But, oh dear. Not sin. <laughs> okay, it spawns morning stars. And I think. Yep, and it spawns. Oh wow, these angles are fast! Oh my goodness. They're gonna catch him right out of the mob center. They're gonna tear you up. Okay. Gotta remind myself not to mess around with that mob center at all. Okay, that, that light Vulcan from the Morning Stars and Anglers, that could really hurt. I kinda dismissed it, but it's. I wouldn't say it's comparable to the Class 1 Driller type of Vulcan, but it's just about up there. Ah! Whoa! Hello! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Oh, crap! I did not see that secret door coming. Okay, oh, that means I have to do that Motsen again. With level 1 lasers. That was gonna be beautiful. Here we go. Okay, gotta catch these anglers right as they're getting out. I failed. Okay, that one was successful. That one was not. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, wow. I'm at seven. Are you kidding me? I'm at 17 shields already? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, how many lives do I have left? I can't tell yet. I have no more lives. This is my last life. I have got to not die right now, and I have to activate this Motsen one more time before it's exhausted. I mean, this is not insane, so it's not going to be activated forever and ever, so after three times, every Motsen will be exhausted in over skill levels like the one I'm doing now. Why are you not dying? If I can get a good run on this Motsen, I think I should be okay. Oh yeah, just keep doing Morning Stars, that's awesome. I, I really appreciate those spawns. <laughs> now that it's been depleted, let's see if there's any... Okay, there's a secret door there. Uh, I'm just not going to trip it. I'm just going to grab the key and go. Grab and go. Okay, that didn't set it off. Oh, hello. Okay, so the thief is behind the yellow door. Got it. Oh, looky there. Oh, hey. There is our acolyte. There's the first instance of our Acolyte. And sure enough, he acts just like a medium Hulk. I think I think it's three concussion missiles on hotshot difficulty with the medium Hulk as well, so this is no big change. Alright, wow, this level's progressing faster than I thought. Time to go up for the red door. Oh dear. That Motsen up there, that looks like trouble. Really, it does. Okay, I... Where am I going? Oh, hey! Don't you dare steal... <gasps> he stole the afterburner! Mmm! Stupid thief! Gosh darn it, I hate that. I hate that Snabulant. I do not like him at all. He is even worse than the original thief, by far. Get rid of you, because I know you're probably going to be a problem later when I'm rushing to the exit. 
Okay, he's gonna activate, isn't it? That's his point to activate. And it did! Haha, <laughs> get rid of you! Ooh, harpoons! Getting, oh, it's spawning harpoons. Why am I dropping bombs? I don't even know! Oh gosh, I am running! I am, I am panicking! This is way too crowded up here. I need more space. I work better with more space. I don't want to hurt and get killed by my own bombs. That would be rather embarrassing! How many more are left? Oh, there's two more. Two more. Woo. Oh, three more. My bad. My bad. I, oh, what? Oh, gosh. I just fired off a, a guided missile. Oh, wow. I could have died. I, you know, I can still die. Alright, if I can get this... Oh, he's right there. Ah, oh, crap. Is that all of them? It's gonna set off the mo- Oh, good. It's not gonna set off. Okay, everybody. I almost got a game over. <laughs> that was a close call. I was gonna say, I was like, I could probably so, see if I could snag these device. homing missiles and use them, because I'm obviously not gonna take them to the next level, but no, that doesn't seem to be the case. Now it's just a wasted collection of four homing missiles, and here we go to the exit. That level was pretty good all the way up to the end, and then I just... I don't know what happened, I just choked. It was just, I don't know if it was a lack of space, or... I don't know what happened, but I just choked there, and I, I really feel embarrassed. <laughs> I'm better than this, I know I am. Anyway, 38,350, not too bad, and I, d I don't remember, were there hostages in this level? Because I don't really recall. Oh well. Doesn't matter. On to level four, everybody. See you later.